Hi, this is Jim with uh, CableSupply.com, and today we're going to look at some of the characteristics of Category 5E uh, computer cable. And this is what I have in my hand, as you can read this, the writing here on the uh, on the, the cable itself. It's really you could read these things. So it's telling me that I have a 5E cable, Cat 5E. It's um, uh, unshielded twisted pair. That's what UTP stands for. I have four pairs of cable in there. They're 24 gauge. It's good up to 350 megahertz. Um, it's UL listed, as you can see, UL listed. And uh, CMP tells you that it's um, uh, it's shielding. What type of uh, coating is on the outside of the cable? Not shielding, but what type of coating? Um, uh, whether or not it's useful in uh, a certain type of building standards. It does not affect the electrical characteristic of the cable. It just it tells you the coating on the outside of the cable. It says I have six foot left in the box. Um, this is a, a scrap cable at the end of the box. And, um, and it's verified according to the uh, TIA EIA standards 586 uh, B. Now, 586B is how you punch it down. Uh, it really doesn't show anything else besides that. Um, one thing, if you use CAT5E cable and use CAT5E jacks and CAT5E patch panel uh, when you're doing installations for computer networks, it's pretty much going to certify for CAT5E. Uh, now, um, if you use CAT5E jacks but CAT6 cable, it's still cat 5e you can always go up you can't go down so if anything in the installation uh, for computer cabling um, uh, is uh, let's say cat 6 uh, I'm sorry cat 5 and you're doing a cat 6 installation well it's really not cat 6 it's cat 5 but you can always replace a cat 5 jack or a cat 5 cable with cat 6 and um, it, they're they're compatible uh, but it's always going to be at the lower standard. So this is the cable. What I'm going to do is uh, open it up here as we talk and I'm going to show you the individual pairs. And then when we get a chance, there we go. Um, in here you have your four twisted pairs as you can see and you have a little pull string. Now the reason I have the pull string is this is convenient because you can pull back on the cable and it strips the outer uh, shielding off. And when I originally uh, used the wire cutters, you can use scissors or numerous wire cutters, I, I may have somewhere in here, I don't, don't see it, but sometimes you can nick a cable and it looks like it's okay but when you twist it once or twice it breaks. So when you pull it back like that, what you want to do is you just want to trim it up a little bit below where you originally cut. And you cut off the excess. Let me trim some more back. And you cut off the excess. And the string can be cut off. And you use all four pairs in cabling um, computer jacks. Now the thing you got to remember is you're using all four pairs and I'll put them in order here. The first pair is your blue pair, second is your orange, and then green, and then brown. So one pair one, pair two, pair three, pair four. Um, and notice they're twisted and they have a certain twist to them. They're a tight twist. So Cat 5E is a better uh, cable than um, Cat3. Cat3 uh, used, used to be used for uh, um, 10 base T um, installations. Cat5e could go up to 100 base T. Actually, uh, I think it's one gig um, you can do in, on Cat5e. Um, Cat5 is 100 base T. So Cat5e uh, enhanced can go up to 1 gigabit or 1000 base T. Um, next we're going to, uh, I want to show you the difference between Cat5e and Cat6. Okay, so this is Cat5. Now I stripped apart 
some cat six. And let's look at the blue pair. That's the first pair. Blue is always first. Blue white is always first. And let's compare the two blues. And this this blue white is a cat six cable. A higher standard, you can pass more data over it or anything else. Notice the twists are uh, tighter. You can actually see that they're tighter here than these are. Plus, Cat6 always comes with some sort of, or mostly comes with some sort of separator to keep the cables separate. So it's a tighter twist, as you can see. Um, the same gauge cable, same color code and everything else. They're pinned down the same way, Cat5 or Cat6, but there's a tighter uh, twist on Cat6. So as you can see, I think it's clearer under brown here, so let me pull it back a little bit. So this is CAT um, 5E, and this is CAT 6. Makes it a lot more difficult to cable because of the tightness sometimes here is really hard to unravel. But you can see the difference in the twist. So the tighter the twist, uh, the higher the category cable, and the more data it can, it can uh, travel on that, on that cable. Also, um, uh, the, the, the cost difference, there's a significant cost difference between CAT5 and CAT6 uh, that you might want to take into consideration. However, if I was cabling for the future, and um, uh, I would cable right now to cable CAT6 uh, for future uh, higher bandwidth capabilities. And to give you a CAT6 installation, you're going to need uh, CAT6 jacks and CAT6 patch panels and CAT6 patch cords. Um, again, we sell all these at cablesupply.com, and we have a lot of other videos um, that you can watch. It will actually show you how to punch these down, the patch panels, and how to test them, uh, what the color code is, um, what jacks you should use. Um, just remember, you can always replace a CAT5E um, jack with a CAT6, and it's still certified as CAT5E. Uh, but you can't go the opposite. You can't replace a CAT6 jack on a CAT6 uh, pull or a cable uh, with a CAT5E, because then that pull becomes CAT5E, not CAT6. And uh, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Thank you for watching our video. Please visit our website, uh, look at the products we sell, and also uh, uh, look at all the other videos we have. We have over 50 videos on uh, cable installation. Uh, we've been uh, doing, we've been, our company, our parent company has been doing cable installations for over 20 years. So this is quality equipment that we sell on our website. Thank you.